I bought all of the new hyperchargers and play tested them in master's ranked lobbies to see which ones are the best. Here's my tier list on which hypercharge you should buy and the ones I wasted my gems on. Starting with the worst hypercharge, we have Brock's. The hypercharge allows your super to shoot a big barrage of rockets at your opponents, which sounds like it would be OP, right? Well, it's nowhere close. The damage of each individual rock was heavily nerfed from 2000 damage each to only 500 damage each when in the hypercharge. This is why it's F tier and the hypercharge you want to avoid buying at all costs rest in peace my wallet next on this list is tick this hypercharge makes ticks hit extremely fast the reason i've ranked this at fifth however is due to the high amount of shots required to get this hypercharge it's very similar to crow's hypercharge where it takes a large portion of the game to actually get it when i heard tick was receiving a hypercharge i thought it would cause me to uninstall the game to say the least i hate tick thankfully it sucks d tier next up we have nita nita's hypercharge gives bruce a big buff to his health and his his movement speed this makes the normal super tanky bear even tankier and paired with his fast movement speed it now makes nita a force to be reckoned with definitely a strong hypercharger to look out for and will make nita viable pick again on tank heavy maps b tier now let's talk about gene gene's hypercharger gives him two more magic hands during his super making it split out in three different directions this gives three times the chances to connect that game changing pool gene is known for now the hypercharge is really good but gene's super is easy countered by things such as spawners for that reason a tier on to the second best hypercharge we received this update we have max max's hypercharge is extremely strong due to the fact that it allows you to speed up your teammates without having to be directly next to them this can quickly turn the tide of battle and can easily shut down your opponents for that reason Max deserves a solid S tier rating. Now, for the best hypercharge this update, and potentially the best hypercharge in the game, we have Sandy. Sandy gives all teammates in his super a big speed buff, just like Max. But unlike Max, your opponents will not see you and your teammates running into their face. Sandy's super already has such a huge area of effective invisibility, and adding the speed on top of that makes it completely game-breaking, and was worth me breaking the bank.